midst of South America, the world's largest tropical rainforest has several secrets hidden beneath its dense flora. Once you manage to peek through the tall canopy of towering trees, you're treated to the most biodiverse regions in the whole world. What you witness is the very essence of Amazon the home of the wild. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we're taking you on a safari to the world's most mysterious forest, the Amazon. We'll also talk about the incredible diversity of wildlife that calls it home and how does the rainforest aid in the survival of the crazy diversity of species it inhabits. So sit back and enjoy as this is going to be a trek to remember. The Amazon rainforest is nourished by the Amazon River, the biggest river in the world in terms of volume released. The area of this magnificent tropical jungle is pretty much equal to the land area covered by 48 states if the United States. That's huge considering it's just a forest. It covers an amazing 4,225 miles from the tops of the Andes in Peru to the stunning beaches of Brazil. With a forest this vast, there is no doubt that it might be harboring some of the craziest creatures the world has ever seen. The forest has over 16,000 different species of trees, which is approximately 390 billion. The number of species goes well over 40,000 if we factor in algae, fungus, shrubs and climbing plants. With that said, there are still a lot of undiscovered species out there, and yet only a small portion of that ecological diversity in the Amazon is made up of plants, algae and fungus. Going past the flora, let's talk about the innumerable species that call Amazon its home. By far over 1300 different bird species, 378 different types of reptiles, 400 different amphibian species and at least 427 diverse mammal species have been identified in the Amazon. Have you noticed that we don't mention any invertebrates, such as insects and arachnids? This is because Amazon's enormous invertebrate population goes up in millions, and that is only the ones we've discovered so far. But here's the fun part. The Amazon's fauna shapes South America's fashion curve. Some of them blend perfectly with their surroundings, while others display an incredibly diverse palette of vibrant colors, spots and patterns. The Amazon rainforest, the world, biggest goes completely unmatched in terms of its tremendous biodiversity. To view these unusual creatures, visitors from all over the world flock to the Amazon with their long lens cameras and binoculars. But fortunately for you, we'll be covering some of the most stunning and unique wildlife of the spectacular rainforest. Let's start with the birds. One of the most varied habitats for birds in the world, the Amazon is home to hummingbirds, channel-billed toucans, hoatzins and macaws. The highly intelligent and friendly macaw, an icon of the Amazon, lives in groups of 10 to 30 of other birds. They can live up to 60 years and are lifelong partners. Even some animal species can mimic human speech. However, the unlawful pet trade and deforestation pose a threat to macaws. Feathers are popular for these Amazon rainforest creatures, whether they are used to blending in or standing out. Red, yellow, green and blue are the most prevalent colors of macaw feathers, but they can be almost any color. They usually cluster near clay licks in search of salt. You can also find harpy eagles here. The harpy eagle's piercing eyes and pointed beak are its distinguishing traits. The looks give it away that it's one of the jungle's top predators and flies beautifully across the skies of the Amazon. Harpy eagles have a white belly, a grey head and beautiful white, grey and black feather patterns on their wings. What a sight they are. But wait until you see the spangled Kothinga. The males are recognized by a patch of dark pink feathers on their necks and a body covered in bright turquoise feathers. This bird looks like it's been crafted. Unlike the other birds, this species from the Amazon rainforest lives up in the canopy and cannot make sounds. Strange, isn't it? With that, let's move on to a few mammals. The various species of cats, monkeys and river creatures are a few of Amazon's most spectacular animals. Jaguar. Cheetah spots are to Africa's plains what jaguar spots are to South America's rainforest. Many tourists patiently wait to see this iconic creature of the jungle while counting their blessings. If you want to have a decent chance of sighting a jaguar, you will need to venture rather deep into the forest. However, you've got to proceed at your own risk. This brings us to the biggest river otters in the world that are found in the Amazon. These otters, some of which may grow to 5.6 feet long, use their robust tails and webbed paws to swim across the Amazonian rivers and lakes. With a sound vocabulary of at least 22 different noises, giant river otters are extremely loud animals. 
Maybe they won't be as difficult to locate after all. Talking of noise, it's now time to introduce the Red Howler Monkey. Most tourists to the Peruvian forest can hear these primates screech. They can be heard roaring from up to 3 miles or 5 kilometers away. At the Puerto Maldonado jungle lodges, there is a 50% possibility of seeing these monkeys, with the likelihood increasing the farther into the forest you travel. Make sure you keep your eyes on the canopy. Meanwhile, don't forget to watch your footing, for you might step on a capybara. Capybaras are docile rodents that look like enormous guinea pigs. They live close to freshwater bodies in the heavily forested regions of South America. Capybaras can hold their breath underwater for up to 5 minutes and are remarkably good swimmers. The biggest rodent in the world at the moment, these forest creatures are roughly 4 feet long and 2 feet tall. You can't miss slots while talking about mammals. Locally, slots are referred to as perezosos, which is Spanish for lazy. The Amazon is home to both two-toed and three-toed slots. On excursions, there is a slim possibility that you could get lucky and encounter them in the wild. But given that they are likely resting for all of eternity, there isn't much hope. Moving on to the reptiles and amphibians, we'll talk of a few unique ones like the poison dart frog. Poison dart frogs possess the most vibrant colors, but don't go on the appearance, they're called poison for a reason. On their vividly colored bodies, these tiny, deadly jungle creatures often have intricate patterns. The vibrant colors, which range from shades of red, blue and yellow to everything in between, are an important defense strategy to fend off predators. Talking of strategies, we cannot miss the side-necked turtle. In the Amazon, it is common for various kinds of butterflies to drink from the side-necked turtle's tears. That's a little weird. Did you know many plant-eating Amazonians don't get enough salt in their diets? So to improve their salt intake, they have come up with creative alternatives like sipping onto turtle tears. And with that, let's go into the greatest predator in the Amazon environment, the Cayman Black. This reptile's black scales, as its name indicates, let it blend in with the environment. Sounds spooky, doesn't it? The eyeballs that lurk above the water are typically the only thing you can see. In the region of the Black Cayman, scientists have found the remains of a massive, extinct Cayman with a height of more than 40 feet or 12 meters. Although it reaches only a maximum length of 15 feet, this crocodile is nearly as large as its cousin, the American alligator. Did you know the majority of creatures in the Amazon rainforest are insects? They make up 90% of the wildlife. Every year, scientists and researchers identify hundreds of brand new insect species. Because of this, it's difficult to estimate the number of insects that live in the rainforest. Let's start with the leafcutter ant. The leafcutter ants live in enormous, sophisticated colonies, with each ant serving a particular role based on its size. More vegetation is consumed by leafcutter ants in the rainforest than any other animal. These ants also grow fungi underground, which transforms deadly plants into edible mushrooms. Can't really miss spiders when speaking of creepy insects, right? The pink-toed tarantula are calm tarantulas with pink tips on all eight of their legs. They are active throughout the day, in contrast to the majority of tarantulas. Additionally, the pink toes make them stand out from their surroundings, increasing the likelihood that tourists can discover them. We now turn our attention to nature's magnificent creation, Blue Morpho Butterfly. At least 7,000 different kinds of butterflies, or 35% of all known butterfly species, can be found in the Amazon. The Blue Morpho is one of the most eye-catching butterflies in the rainforest. They are easy to see flying through the jungle because of their beautiful blue wings. It looks like radiant butterfly refrigerator magnets. Another species with a lovely blue hue are scorpions. Although scorpions are typically associated with the desert, numerous species may be found in the Amazon rainforest. By now, you must have thought you've seen it all, but this scorpion glows in the dark. Scorpions emit a bright blue glow when exposed to UV light, shining like nighttime beacons. Although the huge rainforest can conjure up ideas of exotic and potentially dangerous creatures, it also has a significant human population. The Amazon is home to some 21 million people, including an estimated 50 isolated tribes who have not yet interacted with Western civilization. For these natives, the Amazon and its wild is truly home. From the cuddly and warm to the truly strange, the Amazon has it all. Animals from all over the world, each with their own sense of style, coexist in the Amazon rainforest. But how do so many different kinds of species manage to coexist in this massive ecosystem? 
The Amazon is divided into four biological levels, according to scientists, the forest floor, the understory, the canopy, and the overstory. The health and survival of the rainforest depend on each layer. The rainforest's humble beginnings are on the forest floor. Huge, low-nutrient soil that is layered over a layer of volcanic rock is where the roots of towering trees grow. Tropical vegetation on the forest floor depends on decomposers like bacteria, fungus, and insects, since it lacks deep, rich soil. These essential creatures get their nutrition from decaying organic matter like leaves, wood, and animal carcasses. Bright mushrooms such as the veiled lady and the red cup beautify the forest floor and are quite important for nutrition cycling. Some of these fungi are bioluminescent. These dazzling mushrooms create a stunning glow on the forest floor as the sun sets over the Amazon. The uppermost parts of the rainforest receive very little sunshine, leaving the forest floor gloomy and wet all year long. So that makes plant life on the forest floor difficult due to low light levels, yet terrestrial animals thrive in this layer. Amazing insects like the assassin bug, which impales its food with a long pointy proboscis, can be found on the forest floor. Other amazing insects like leaf-mimicking catadids, which camouflage their towering green bodies as rainforest flora, remain undetected. The titan beetle, for instance, can reach a maximum length of 6.6 .6 inches or nearly the size of an adult human hand. There are predators aplenty with such a diverse array of invertebrates. On the forest floor, enormous colonies of ants and termites are consumed by animals like the giant anteater and reptiles like iguanas. The understory, which makes up the second layer of the Amazon rainforest, hangs no more than 12 feet over the forest floor. Small trees, bushes, and parasitic climbing plants make up the understory. The understory is always sheltered, much like the forest floor by a thick canopy. This layer has just a few types of blooming plants. These plants produce enormous, vividly colored flowers that draw pollinators, therefore producing a wide range of edible fruits such as mangoes, lemons, and cacao pods, which is then used to manufacture chocolate despite the absence of direct sunshine. Isn't that cool? So what else can be found here? Giant waxy tree frogs inhabit and eat the low-lying branches of the understory. You can find vampire bat colonies exist as well. Organized family groupings in the shaded areas of the forest. The rainforest canopy is the thickest layer of vegetation in the Amazon, rising above the understory. This labyrinth of leaves and branches protects the forest floor and the understory. It shields the bottom layers from dry winds and direct sunshine while maintaining their moisture and humidity. This is the part of the jungle that is hardest for people to access. Scientists anticipate finding the most species under the rainforest canopy, but exploring the canopy is an adventure in and of itself. Abundant sunshine enters the canopy, allowing delicate, blooming plants to flourish there. With its flowers and fruits, the canopy's flora supports a diverse range of animal species. The upper branches and leaves of the trees which make up the canopy are so dense that they permanently block out the sun on the Amazonian floor. In fact, it's so thick that it takes the rainwater around 10 minutes to reach the ground when it rains. In this intricate web of greenery, where they can hide from ominous predators, are the monkeys. Fruits, nuts, and seeds from the canopy are enjoyed by several monkey species, including spider monkeys, howler monkeys, capuchins, and tamarisks. The most remarkable inhabitants of the canopy are covered in coatings of vibrant feathers. Most of the birds in the Amazon reside in the canopy, including some of the rarest species in the world. A variety of macaws, including the long-billed toucan, ragged, crested, hotzin, and others, inhabit the canopy of the Amazon. The fourth and the last layer of the Amazon rainforest is the emergent layer, also referred to as the overstory. Up to 200 feet tall trees can be found in the overstory. Their enormous trunks pierce the canopy and extend into the open space, where their branches separate widely and hang over the forest below like umbrellas. Bright and dry, the overstory is home to several huge bird predators. Predatory birds such as eagles, owls, and hawks build their nests in the highest trees and feed on monkeys and macaws that live in the canopy. Although the Amazon is divided into various layers by scientists, this immense environment actually works as a single, cohesive system. From the deepest corners of the forest floor to the highest trees, 200 feet above the earth, each species has evolved to occupy a specific segment. Over 80% of the world's food varieties originate from the Amazon rainforest, offering coffee, which is reason enough to protect the damn thing in our book. 
As for medicine, more than 25% of newer pharmaceuticals contain Amazonian components, yet only 1% of species of plants have been tested for medicinal properties. With that in mind, it's not unrealistic to think the cure to cancer is hiding somewhere. This ecological tapestry has evolved over millions of years, yet the Amazon is under threat now more than ever. Deforestation rates are at a 12-year high, and 20% of Amazon rainforest has already been destroyed. The world's largest terrestrial ecosystem will completely vanish if things continue as they are. We will see increasing rainfall shortages if the Amazon disappears. It also indicates that there will be recurring water shortages, dry air, and savanna-like conditions. Millions of trees will be cut down, accelerating the global climate change that will load to the extinction of many plant and animal species. Millions of species are protected by the Amazon rainforest, but also maintains the stability and health of our whole global environment. The Amazon is a huge maze of trees, vines, and strange animals to the untrained sight. But if you look inside its tangled canopy, you'll discover a life-giving ecosystem unlike any in the world. So, for how long do you think the rainforest would be able to withstand climate change? And what species did you find the most terrifying? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more videos, stay tuned and thanks for watching.